My grandparents' Wi-Fi absolutely sucks. They have their Starlink router legit in their garage across the entire house. So today I'm going to be resolving that. I have a whole setup here of Ubiquiti equipment. I have a Unify Express. I have a U7 Lite and a Unify Lite 8 PoE switch. Today we're going to get this stuff set up and installed. It should be pretty fun. So let's begin. So because I have already used the Unify Express, there's no need to set it up. I mean, it's pretty much set up uh, enough to be able to reconfigure it on the fly. So I'm not going to do too much ahead of time, but what I will do is set up and adopt all of these uh, new pieces of equipment. Like I said, we have a U7 light access point right here, um, which is going to either go in their barn or it's going to go in their basement. Essentially, they have a barn at their house that they just built. It's partially why we're doing this upgrade, but the barn is far enough away that the Wi-Fi is not going to reach out to it. So potentially we might move the Starlink router out to the barn, wire it in there, and put the Unify Express there, and then cover their house with the U7 light. Um, that's potentially what I'm looking at doing, but I have not decided the plan yet. We're going to get to their house later and we will figure it out from there. So the switch is going to provide POE for whatever devices need it, as well as some more ethernet connections. So if we put the Unify Express in the barn, we'll have a single ethernet cable coming back to the switch inside of the house. This is the light eight POE switch. This thing has been around for a long time but it will surely get the job done. So here's the power supply for the switch. We're just gonna literally plug everything in here at the desk. Uh, I do also realize we could have gotten a device like a UDR, but unfortunately the UDR was not in stock at the time of filming this. So this is the next best option in my opinion, getting the Unify Express and getting the additional items. I almost did a Cloud Gateway Max, but the problem with the Cloud Gateway is there's no integrated Wi-Fi. So as you guys will see, this device has last been online April 8th or April 19th, excuse me. Uh, 2025. It's now January 7th, 2025. I'm guessing it's going to be super, super out of date. So unfortunately, it does not look like we can jump ahead versions. We have to go to version 4.0.12, which is still eight months old. So unfortunately, at this point, I can't seem to get it to upgrade past 4.0.12, even after switching to like the release candidate channels. So I'm not sure why it's not updating. Um, according to their community website, which I can show you here, um, the community website actually has the um, newer versions available, um, although the last version for the Unify Express was about eight months ago. So if the device is already discontinued, that's kind of disappointing, to be honest, because I feel like it just released recently. And this is going to adopt them into our network, so we are able to manage them. I'm also going to go in here and remove our wireless SSID, because we do not need that at this point. We are going to create a new one. So I guess for the example for this video, uh, we'll just label it Grandparents House give it some random password. And actually we are gonna leave this on auto. We really don't need to change any settings here. It is literally my grandparents' house, so they will need nothing special. Um, we're gonna leave that as it is and just click on add Wi-Fi network. And this should deploy it to the access point as well as the actual Unify Express once it goes through and updates and adopts the devices. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the switch is blinking white uh, and so is the access point. So it is in the adoption state. So we're gonna get these adopt and then literally we should be good to go. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with VLANs at this time. This is literally my grandparents' house. It does not matter. So we're not doing anything crazy. This is pretty much all most people have to do. A lot of people think that Ubiquiti is like really difficult to set up or all that kind of stuff. Honestly, it's really simple. And uh, I'm gonna leave everything on auto settings unless I have an issue, then which I'll switch into the manual settings and we can do some reconfiguration. But again, I don't foresee any of that being a problem considering uh, my grandparents router is currently in their garage so anything i do should be 10 times better no matter what okay so we're now in the basement and we're going to take a look at what we have to do so this is where all of their cables come in you'll see we have a bunch of cable here but this is where all of the ethernet comes in and it comes from over there And here we go. So you will see that we do have all of our equipment here. I also do have a Unify ground arrestor thing for the ethernet. I thought about protecting the ethernet wire, but I ended up not even using that. We're out in the barn, it's such a vibe, and let's get started. So we're out here in the barn, we have the cable. This is a direct burial ethernet cable, but it is running through that one inch PVC pipe. And then we also have the Unify Express right out here that we have plugged in and booting up. It is very straightforward. It's literally WAN and LAN. There's two ports, you really cannot mess it up. Powered it up, of course. And then over here, we do have the access point as well. Um, this is going to go inside of the house, like I said, alongside the light eight switch. So this will all go inside. Um, and that's pretty much all we'll have out here in the barn. This will just be the main router of the house. And then everything else will be taken care of inside of the house. 
I would show more, but there's honestly not much more than this basic setup that we have here. It is really, really simple to set all of this stuff up. Again, it took me like five minutes. So I basically got the gear today at one o'clock. It is now three o'clock and I'm installing it. There's not much configuration to do. So I've got the ethernet cable here as well as my tools to crimp it. We're gonna put everything up here on the ceiling, probably right here. I don't know if I like it right by the water line, but that was my grandpa's request to kind of put it all over here. They're apparently gonna frame in this basement eventually with like a bathroom right there. So obviously we wanna keep this stuff out of the bathroom. So we're gonna put it over here just off to the side. That way we can mount everything nicely. Um, we might even put an access point on the floor joist right there to kind of keep it up and out of the way. Okay, so what did the final install look like? Well, this is what it looked like. So unfortunately, the wires are running down. My grandpa said he'll fix it afterwards, but the access point is on a short cable going right to that switch. It's all ceiling mounted. It doesn't look too bad. I could have done better, but again, it's my grandparents' house. It'll be all right. We're back out in the barn here. You'll see the cable is coming in from the Starlink. That is a Starlink router and power supply. Everything looks good on the Unify Express as well. And before you complain, yes, we will be wall mounting the Unify Express as well as the Starlink hardware. And then outside we have the Starlink on the ground, which is doing better than I thought it would. There are some spots with blocked coverage, but overall we get decent speeds of about 100 megabits per second. To the access point, I'm getting 200 something megabits per second. So it is mostly the Starlink, which is the bottleneck, which is the way it should be. One of the reasons we put Wi-Fi in the barn was for the laser cutter, because my grandpa brings his computer outside and wants to use a laser cutter out in the barn. So everything went pretty well today. I am a little disappointed with the U7 Lite. I've never used it before. It was my first time trying it, um, but it did it, it did the job, but not as well as I would have hoped. Um, the coverage, totally fine, I think. The speeds and overall performance were a little underwhelming in my opinion. Um, I changed the Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 to the high um, setting on the channel uh, power, and I changed five gigahertz to five as well, or to, to high as well. Um, and that, that had some better performance, but I was only able to get about 200 megabits per second between my phone and the access point. The access point was downstairs, my phone is upstairs, so it is a $99 access point, so it should theoretically be lower power than a typical high-end access point. So with that being said, guys, uh, I really do appreciate you watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, uh, we can do a lot more projects coming up, and I'd love to do that. So if you wanna see more like this, just let me know. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.